So, what's up guys? So, our video for today is about the PAR sensor or the motion sensor. So, the PAR sensor is commonly used for detecting motions. Uh, you can see this mostly on intruder alarms. Uh, most... Uh, current models of street lights and if you notice if you happen to walk by on some of these street lights uh, the lights uh, uh, brightens up as you pass by so what we need in this tutorial is the motion sensor the uno board and our couple of connectors by examining the PAR sensor you can see here uh, the cover of the sensor itself and you can see now the pin labels of our PAR sensor or our motion sensor so we have the VCC the output and the ground pin so let me focus it so you can see now the pin outs so we also have here some trimmer uh, resistors one is for adjusting the time uh, time on of our PAR sensor and the other one is for adjusting the sensitivity of our PAR sensor. So, I calibrated this sensor to output uh, a signal in the shortest possible time. So, you can calibrate the sensor by using a uh, screwdriver so if you turn this by uh, clockwise uh, the PAR sensor will will output a signal in uh, longest possible time if you are going to turn it clockwise uh, in its max value so we were going to use the shortest possible time output of the PAR sensor so we can test uh, the sensor in real time so I'm going to put back the cover of our PAR sensor and let's wire up our PAR sensor so by by checking the pins, uh, we will connect uh, a red connector to the VCC, the orange for the output, and for the ground, uh, we will be using the brown wire. Okay. So for the VCC, we will go to use the the 5 volts of our UNO board so we have uh, 5 volts here and a ground pin so for the output signal we will be using the pin 2 of our UNO board so let's connect the signal pin to pin 2 our ground pin to the ground and for the BCC, we were going to connect it to the 5 volts of our UNO board. So, now the motion sensor is already wired up to our UNO board. So, we were going to proceed to the uh, code.
So, for the code, we will be using the digital read serial, uh, one of the sample codes from our Arduino IDE. Uh, to open this sketch or code, uh, we're going to click on File, Samples, uh, Basics, and we will click on Digital Read Serial. So, the code is already open on my Arduino IDE. So, what we're going to do is upload the code to our Uno R3. So, to upload the code, uh, let's check our board Arduino and our port in my case is COM8. So, once it, it is, uh, once you check the these parameters then we we can now upload our code so let's just click on upload uh, once the code is uploaded uh, we can now open our serial monitor to monitor the output of our PIR sensor. So let, let's click on the serial monitor and you can see uh, we have an output zero and we have we also have the timestamp of our uh, output signal. So we can select if we, if we wanted to show the timestamp or not so in my case i will pick the show timestamp so we can see uh, how long the sensor uh, triggers an output so to trigger an output we we'll just need to uh, introduce a motion in front of our sensor so you can see uh, the output uh, becomes one whenever the sensor detects a motion. So, since we have set the motion sensor, the the time of the motion sensor in the shortest time possible, so the output of the sensor is uh, roughly uh, 1 to 2 seconds uh, before going off again. So, I hope you learned something from this tutorial. So, if you like the tutorial, uh, please like and subscribe to our channel. For more tutorials and updates uh, on your prototyping journey. So that's it for now. Bye bye.